Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. Let's talk about Hannah Clear. Hannah Clear. If people have been following the Moscow, Idaho case, four college students brutally stabbed during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022, inside a home, police have made no arrests, no suspects, haven't found the murder weapon, and they are looking for occupants of a Hyundai Elantra. So Hannah Clear, Hannah Clear, we're hearing her name circulate. Apartment complex, right there. That's where Hannah Clear stayed when she went to school, University of Idaho. She's originally from Utah. She stayed in the apartments right behind me there. She died on February 24th of this year, 2022. Now, there's a lot of people speculating online that Hannah was a roommate of one of the victims, Kaylee, Maddie, Zana, don't know which one. And people are claiming that one of the victims of this case, either Zana, Maddie, or Kaylee, bullied Hannah Clear where she committed suicide and died on February 24th, 2022. Now, people are spreading around some media outlets, smaller outlets have written articles about this. I don't know. I do know that Hannah Clear's father spoke about the matter and I wanna share what he had to say. Check it out. This is a public post that Scott Clear, father of Hannah Clear made. I am Hannah's father and have read the autopsy report and spoken with the coroner and investigating officer. Hannah died from an overdose of an OTC sleep medication. There is no evidence of foul play. The police officers who found Hannah's body were there because I called the Moscow police and requested a welfare check. She died on the 24th and was found on the 27th. Please respect my family's privacy and honor Hannah's memory. This comes from the father of Hannah Clear. So he said she died from medication. So it didn't sound like anything about bullying, committing suicide, or any of that. Hannah Clear. What's your thoughts on Hannah Clear? Because people were making posts on you know, some of the victims' social media sites saying they got what they deserve because they bullied that girl to death, referring to Hannah Clear. It sounds like, according to her father, that it was just a, you know, medication overdose from one of her medications. Interesting that he said, though, that, you know, three days after she died, you know, they found her. They found her on the 27th. She died on the 24th three days later you know they went on there in, in in the apartments there on a welfare check so I just want to throw that out there I am out here let me spin the camera around Hannah Clear lived here there's Baker this is Baker Street apartment complex this is in Moscow it's off of highway 8 she lived in one of those Apartments. Don't know which one, but she did live there. So you heard it here. You seen it. That's where she lives. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. I am covering this case. Looking around for motives on why this happened where four innocent people died. Was it somebody that had a grudge? Was it a family member, a friend, a roommate? stranger stalker fraternity member who murdered these four innocent people and why i am out here in the field i've been taking routes and showing people locations speaking to locals i've been communicating with locals that have been sharing a lot of information with me so check out my videos this video is about hannah clear you know she's probably like her father said, that's pretty much the reason why um, she died. You know, the father spoke out, 
I shared what he had to say. He didn't say anything about bullying or whatnot. So I'm going to assume that the bullying rumors is not true and it's just people speculating and spreading misinformation on the internet. Look, the mail person. The mailman is out on a Saturday night delivering mail. Snow on the ground. All right, be safe. Subscribe to my channel. We'll talk soon. God bless.